In this video, I will show you how to use the split tool. So it is this one here, and when I click it, the dialog here on the right will open. There are three options here. I'm going to go through each one of them. In the first one, I will divide. And so what divide is, is you take one pattern, so you click to select which pattern you're going to use, and then I'm going to zoom in and place a point in which it will divide the pattern at that point. So uh, why I would choose to use that tool is often I have a pattern that's larger than my sew zone, so I can't sew it all as one, like this border. I can't sew the entire thing in one pass. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to chunk my borders. I'm going to make a division point, and when I click with my mouse, it puts a green dot at the place it's going to divide the pattern, and you can see one side will be green and one side will now show as the light green, and so I can see which parts of that pattern are going to fall in which uh, division. So I can move that point. Let's say I wanted it to be exactly at the point. Well, I got it there. But if I missed my mark, and here I can click on the, the arrow to move it. So if I missed my mark, I meant to, to get it right at the point, but I didn't get it there, I can nudge this point along that line by clicking this arrow here, and it will jump in little increments. And when I like where it's positioned, I can say accept. Now I want you to see what happens to the pattern at that point. I say accept, and you can see I now have a green dot, which indicates the beginning of this pattern, and the pink would show which way it's going. So that is now a separate pattern right there. And over on the other side, I would also need to split it if I want it to fit. Select it first, place my dot, click accept, and now you can see clearly that this is one pattern, this is one pattern, and then the remaining is down here. And as I work down my quilt, I may divide that again as needed. That's how you use the divide. Now the create segment, I'll select that. I can come in here and I get two division points. Let's say I wanted to use this cute flower. First I have to select it, then I would place a point here, place a second point here. If I'm happy with those points, uh, I would click accept. If I'm not happy, I can use those little arrows to move those points along the line. I will say accept, and you can see now that this flower is one pattern, and the rest of the wreath is a second pattern. I have two segments that I have created. Now, if I wanted to use the multi-segment, it gives me the opportunity to put many um, points of division. So I would select the pattern first, and then I would place a dot. I can move it if I like. So the rules basically are the same, and you can place as many as you want. I can divide out all these leaves and have every single one of these be separate patterns if I like. When I say accept, I can now see that I have many patterns. Now if I move to my um, transform tool, I can pick these up, I could rotate them around, I can do different things with each one of these portions of the pattern. So you can really get creative by cutting things apart, slicing and dicing your patterns and putting them back together. Uh, you can make creative new ways to fit areas of your quilt that may not fit with the pattern in its standard state. It's a great tool.